I'm going to make some pyjama muffins. A full English breakfast all wrapped up in 12 little muffins. What a perfect way to make breakfast go even further. I've got bacon, sausages, some little tomatoes and some mushrooms chopped up. But you can put whatever you want. If you want to do a vegetarian version, then that will work equally well. You just need to put that to one side to cool a little and then we're going to chop it into little pieces. Let's just chop up this fried breakfast. Just going to chop the bacon and the sausages up into little pieces and I don't need to chop my um, tomatoes anymore because they're just already just halved cherry tomatoes. In my bowl I've got my self-raising flour but I'm also going to add some baking powder just to give this some extra lift and make them really fluffy. Some salt and pepper and then in a jug I'm going to break my eggs Gently beat the eggs with a fork. There we go. Add the milk. Okay. I don't think I'm going to fit my butter in the jug, so I'll just add that separately to the dry ingredients. and then the butter. And just gently mix that in. That needs to be completely mixed together before we add all of our breakfast ingredients. And make sure you've got all the little bits of flour and there's no sort of pockets of flour that haven't been mixed in because that won't taste nice when you bake it. There you go, that looks perfect. And then I'm going to gently fold in all of the breakfast ingredients, but not the baked beans and ketchup. We're going to come to that in a minute. And then all these lovely bits of bacon and sausage and little bits of tomatoes. Okay. And you just want to gently fold these in because we don't want to break up all of the little bits of tomato. We want to keep some of the shape to it. Just like that making me so hungry. That looks perfect and we're now ready to spoon those into our little muffin cases. But we're only going to fill them half full because then we're going to add our secret ingredients. So they're all half filled. I'm just going to squash them down a tiny bit, not too much. Check they're into the bottom of the cases. They look fine. And then I'm going to add a little bit of baked beans or a little bit of ketchup, or you can add both. It really just depends what your favourites are. So I'm going to do some with ketchup, some with beans, just like that, a little spoonful on the top. Or you could use brown sauce, or maybe a little bit of tomato chutney might be rather nice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to spoon some more of the mixture onto the top of the muffins just to cover up the baked beans or the ketchup. There we go, all finished and ready to pop into the preheated oven to bake for about 20 minutes or until they're all lovely and golden. So don't forget to set a timer. They look perfect, a full English baked in a muffin, pyjama muffins.